Whenever I feel lonely at night, Pear is the one who's always there for me. I thought that maybe some other kids might want a toy for company too. So I made a bunch of clockwork penguins and took them to the show's workshop to put on sale. Apparently the customer feedback was good, but they didn't sell too many of them. And most of the buyers were adults. After I got my vision, I didn't need my helmet to go diving anymore. But I can't bear to be without it. It cuts me off from the noise of the outside world and makes me feel safe. My vision, pair, and my helmet. I draw my strength from them every time I take a breath. Father doesn't like it when children cry. Father says tears are the product of emotion and weakness. So when Father scolds me, I hold it in until I'm underwater, where no one can hear me cry. <sighs> At least I have the Romaritime flowers to keep me company. At home, Lenny's always showing me his magic tricks. Whenever I smile, he grins excitedly and says the audience is definitely going to love this one. Do I really smile so rarely? If you assigned Lenny and Lynette with the same mission, they'd both do an outstanding job. But not me. Lynette is always comforting me, saying that everyone has their strengths, and how everyone relies on me to fix things around the house when they break down. <sighs> if only I was half as good at anything else. One day when I surfaced after a dive, the Chief Justice was just standing there alone on the beach. I don't know whether he had something on his mind, or was just enjoying the view. Obviously, I didn't ask. I only locked eyes with him for a split second before disappearing back underwater. Thinking back, I must have looked so guilty. <sighs> uh, I'm in no position to give a well-rounded opinion on the Hydro Archon, so... I'll pass. I mean... I've only seen her a few times, so I'm sure I have a somewhat skewed view of her. Lenny told me everything. I'm so grateful to you and Navia for your warmth and generosity. Please pass on my thanks when you see her. Huh? Tell her myself? Uh, I, uh... Oh, I've suddenly got stomach cramps. Sorry, got a dash. For some reason, Charlotte never believes me when I say I'm just an ordinary diver. She's convinced that my past is full of news stories waiting for her to dig up. <sighs> Am I really that bad of a liar? I owe Clorinde my life, but she says she doesn't want anything from me in return. It's not a nice feeling, having put someone out so much and only being able to offer empty thank yous in return. I hear that Chevrez is a regular customer of Bumol Workshop. She always purchases the most expensive and advanced components for her musket. If I make enough Mora, maybe one day I can afford to upgrade Pear's components. My past? <sighs> If you promise not to look at me, or you'll let me wear my diving helmet, maybe then I could try to tell you a little more. Personality's one part of it, but... The bigger reason is that I've been avoiding my past for so long now, it might be hard to talk about. I read in a book that when people die, they turn into stars and watch over us from the sky. I hate my real father. He abandoned my mother and me, so I don't care about him. But if my mother looks down from the sky and sees that, after all this time in his new home, the child she protected with her life is still so timid that he can't fend for himself, 
Will she be disappointed in me?